way to begin the week by sharing some great news about our state's second largest industry, tourism. I would like to thank Governor Sanders, First Gentleman Brian Sanders for joining us today, as well as members of the State Park Recreation Travel Commission and Director Austin Booth is also here with us today as well. So thank you for joining us. Um, I'm here to unveil the results of the 2022 Economic Impact Report for Tourism in Arkansas. And I'm gonna jump right in. It's such great news, I wanna share it right off the bat for you. So our first slide, and I'll kind of highlight information along as we go forward, um, was related to the study that was conducted by Tourism Economics. It takes into account the totality of the impact of Arkansas tourism on our state's economy, including the numbers of visitors received, how much they spent while in the state, and total tax receipts and overall impact. As I'll show the numbers, I'll share some perspective of what the meaning behind those. First, 48.3 million people visited our state in 2022. That's a 17.1% increase from 2021 uh, and a 27% increase over COVID, uh, pre-COVID 2019. So since the pandemic, we continue to see growth in numbers in visitation. And I think this, in, in, my, in my view, it's for a couple of different reasons. First of all, we have really leaned into digital marketing which allows us to target key audiences across the nation and around the world uh, to maximize our reach and help us optimize future campaigns. And secondly, something that we know for sure is that a lot of visitors found us during the pandemic. What we are known as the natural state really came true and, and relevant during the pandemic that helped many people gain a greater appreciation for the beautiful outdoors that we have, which continues today, and what Arkansas has in abundance. As a result, direct visitors hit spend hit the $9.2 billion mark. That's up 15.4% from 2021 and exceeds by a billion dollars the pre-COVID 2019 numbers. This high, the highest spend categories for visitors were in transportation, food, and lodging. Lodging, as a matter of fact, accounted for the largest increase in visitor spend with a year-over-year -year increase of 23%. That's great news for an industry sector which took a financial hit during the epidemic. We also studied the indirect and induced impact that tourism has on our economy. And that number is $6.5 billion. That's money put back into the economy by industry operators when buying goods and services and by industry employees who are investing their wages where they live. When combining direct visitor spend with indirect and induced impact, the total effect is $15.7 billion, a major impact on our economy. In terms of tax receipts, the tourism industry, industry generated $536 million in state taxes, an increase of 14.8% over 2021. Counties and municipalities collected $216 million in taxes, which is up 16.1%. In total, tax receipts from visitor spending in Arkansas was $752 million. For a perspective, without this visitor-generated tax receipts, each Arkansan household would need to be taxed an additional $866 to replace those tax dollars. Let's take a look at the collection numbers for the 2% tourism tax. The reinvestment of these dollars fully fund Arkansas's tourism marketing efforts, which you have seen have been very successful. 
In 2022, the tourism reinvestment tax collected a record $24.3 million. That's up 15.8% over 2021. It's almost 6.5 million more than those pre-COVID 2019 levels. Arkansas's tourism industry employs 68,100 Arkansans, which represent 3.9% of employment within our state. So if you're kind of wondering how these numbers break down and where a lot of the spending has taken place, here are the top five counties for visitor uh, spending. Pulaski County uh, generated 1.9 billion, Benton County in Northwest Arkansas, a little more than 1 billion, Garland County in Hot Springs, 840.6 million dollars, Washington and Sebastian counties uh, in Fort Smith rounds out the top five uh, at 401.8 million, 709 specific in Washington County. You can find data for all 75 uh, counties in copies of the economic impact report uh, that we have available for you today. Those printed copies are found at each side of the stage here. You can also view those numbers and additional information online as well. In a few minutes, some of our tourism partners from these counties will make some comments uh, to help uh, explain uh, the growth that they've, they've seen in their areas throughout the state. Bottom line is that Arkansas's tourist, is, tourism industry has never been stronger. Our state is now, on a is now a national travel destination thanks to both private and public investment in product development that has pr proved more memorable and affordable uh, experiences for people in activities such as biking, hiking, mountain climbing and rock climbing, water sports, and even outdoor art. I fully expect that we'll be standing here this time next year giving you data that exceeds what I've shared with you today. That's because of our strong industry partners and visionary leadership from Governor Sanders and the First Gentleman. I'll be excited to be uh, back with you at this time next year as well. It's my pleasure to introduce our governor today. When Governor Sanders took office earlier this year, she said she wanted to be the chief salesperson for our state. She's not just a governor who talks about tourism and our uh, bountiful outdoor economy, she lives it. Every chance that she gets and the first gentleman and their, the first family, their three children are outside in Arkansas enjoying its beauty. It's my pleasure, please help me welcome our 47th governor of Arkansas, Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Good morning. Thank you everybody for joining us here this morning. I certainly appreciate Shay leading us off with some fantastic statistics about Arkansas's tourism. I want to thank our legislative partners who have helped lead us to this point and all of the members of our tourism industry, tourism commission, natural state initiative, and our friends and partners at the Arkansas Game and Fish as well. One of the incredible things about living right here in Little Rock, or frankly any city in Arkansas, is that you are always close to nature. Even right here in the center of our state's largest city, we're only a short drive from one of Arkansas's best state parks. When our family needs a break, we can head over to Pinnacle. My husband, Brian, usually takes the reins in organizing and planning those trips. The only problem with that is anybody who's familiar with Pinnacle State Park knows that there are two ways that you can get up the mountain, the easy way and the hard way. And when we let Brian plan the trips, it's usually pretty much a guarantee that we are gonna go up the hard way. The kids and I will usually complain when we're trekking up that side, but you certainly feel more accomplished when you get to the top. As they say, nothing worth doing is ever easy. You might say something similar about Arkansas's tourism. It's easy to forget, but just three years ago, the entire tourism industry was on the rocks. 
shuttered restaurants, empty hotels. Some were actually saying that our tourism industry would never bounce back from the pandemic. But as Shay laid out earlier, we're back and we're better than ever, thanks to amazing leadership and partnership from many of those of you who are here today. Arkansas saw 48.3 million visitors last year, up 17% from the year before, and they spent $9.2 billion while they were here, up 15% from 2021. Tourism is the state's second largest industry, employing nearly 70,000 people and attracting far more tourists and new residents to experience the great things here in the natural state. These numbers are excellent, maybe even tremendous, but I know that we can and we will do even better. Today, I'm introducing someone who I know agrees with me, who's about to help us take Arkansas tourism to the next level. I'm proud to announce that Delaney Thomas will serve as Arkansas's new Director of Tourism. Delaney, we're excited to welcome you. Delaney has spent nearly a decade working with Arkansas tourism from the, out, from the outside, brainstorming new ideas to get the word out about our state. She spearheaded nationwide marketing campaigns and has the creative chops that we'll need to compete with other states. Delaney joins an incredible team that is gonna help us take Arkansas to the top. This administration is making sweeping reforms to make our outdoor spaces even better. Last legislative session, my husband Brian huddled with experts in both the public and private sector to help come up with new ways to improve Arkansas's outdoor economy. Their solutions passed overwhelmingly in the legislature and they're already starting to make a difference. We cut red tape at state parks to make maintenance and lodging better and more seamless. We funded grant programs to support high impact recreation projects in small towns all across the state. And we're supporting entrepreneurs who are innovating in everything from food to lodging to guide services. And the Sanders family favorite, we're launching a lifetime hunting and fishing license that Arkansans under 10 can get for half off. I'm just a little disappointed we didn't do it sooner because only two out of three of our kids qualify. But you pair this with all of the progress going on in the private sector and nonprofit spaces, and you have an absolute recipe for success. Thank you to everyone for being here, for all your hard work in this space, and all that you do for Arkansas's tourism. And now I'm gonna turn it over to our new tourism director, Delaney, to say a few words. Thank you so much. Thank you, Governor. I'm humbled and I'm honored to step into this new role. First, I'd like to give thanks to the Lord for I believe it's his plan that has led me here to this job and has equipped me with the skills and experience that will allow me to serve the state as the next tourism director of Arkansas. I wanna thank my family and my husband Robert for their continued support as well as their agreement to always be my partners on Arkansas Adventures. To Governor Sanders and Secretary Lewis, thank you for your trust and confidence in me to do this job. I look forward to working together to grow Arkansas's second largest industry and to continue to establish the natural state as a national leader in outdoor recreation. I'm also excited to continue to tell Arkansas's amazing story to audiences across the country and world. I love Arkansans. I love the hospitality and tourism industry, and I have a deep appreciation for what our destinations do, our outfitters, and our frontline workers, what they do every single day to make sure our visitors have the best, most memorable experience possible. As a Southern state, I believe that hospitality is in our DNA, and our competitive nature probably runs deeper than the Arkansas River. Add in our spirit of goodwill and cooperation, and you've got the perfect recipe for a success story. Together, we are the natural state, and I truly believe that's a privilege. I look forward to working with each of you to take it to the next level. Thank you.